Well, we're talking today show about the basics and uh, taking a look at the basics of your home. When's the last time you had your basement checked out? And joining me now to talk more about it and how important it is uh, from uh, ABT Foundation Solutions is Eric Turner. Good morning. Good morning. So it's been a hot summer, uh, hot and muggy and, and dry, very, very dry. And you say this is really, uh, you know, if you haven't done it in a while, this is the time to have that basement checked out. And that's what you guys do, right? It is. We do give free inspections. But one of the biggest things you want to look for is now it's been dry, like you said. Mm -hmm. You're not having water in the basement. You might have a humidity issue with the high humidity that we've had or the, the, the damp feeling, uh -huh. um, which is something that we can help with. But, but the biggest thing you want to watch out for is this dry weather. The soil will shrink. You, all of a sudden, you're going to have cracks in your basement. Maybe you didn't know was there. I encourage people to go downstairs, look around, see what's going on. If you see cracks in your foundation, number one, have an expert take a look at it. Is that one of those things that you just don't want it to get away from you? I mean, you want to catch it early. You do. You really do. Um, the other thing is people don't connect the foundation with the upstairs cracks. If you have cracks in the drywall upstairs, there is a possibility, not a guarantee, but there's a possibility that there is a crack in the foundation which is causing the cracks upstairs. What are we looking at right now, Eric? That's actually a problem where a foundation has started to bow in. Wow. Uh, the, the wall, the soil, we're in a lot of clay. Most of this area is in clay. Mm -hmm. There are some sand pockets, but this is mostly clay. And, and when the, sand, uh, the clay expands, it pushes on walls and causes walls to bow in. Somebody had a draft on this one, so they used a f expanding foam and tried to fix it, mm -hmm. stop the draft with expanding foam. If you see something like that, that is not the right fix. <laughs> What are some of the symptoms that might alert homeowners that um, there might be something going on with their foundation besides, you know, the visible, the, the cracks? The obvious, the cracks in the foundation. We talked about the cracks upstairs in the drywall. Mm -hmm. Something else that people don't connect is if your windows are sticking. If, if you're opening your windows and doors and they're sticking a little bit, mm -hmm. there is a possibility, again, that there could be a foundation issue that you want an expert to take a look at and get an honest answer on. What do you guys do then when you, when you come out? We're going to do everything from do a visual inspection. We also use laser levels and plumb bobs and just levels. So we do a lot of investigating um, to see what's going on. The other thing that you want to kind of watch out for right now is go outside. See if your landscaping is pitched back toward the house. If it's pitched back toward the house, you really want to build that up and slope it away from the house. Um, if people are, you know, seeing a little bit of damage and you catch it early, uh, huge money saver, right? It is, it is. And not only the money saver from the foundation repair aspect, but also the additional damage that it causes that you're going to have to have repaired also. So um, he, again, will come out, to, or the team will come out to your house and, and, and inspect it. And this is something every year or so you should, you know, have somebody take a look at it. You really should. If, if you don't have somebody take a look at it, you know, the first couple of times you'll probably get down what you need to look out for, you know, and then you can watch for it also. Mm -hmm. But you really need to have somebody explain to you what's going on. All right, and um, this is pretty cool. For the next 10 callers who actually schedule an appointment with ABT, you're going to actually receive and receive a written a proposal. You'll get a $25 gift card uh, to Menards, which I think we could all use. And so uh, the number to call is right up here on the screen, 920-733-4ABT. 920-733-4ABT. If you call, schedule an appointment, receive a written proposal, you get a $25 gift card to Menards. So thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate Thank it. You.